you getting to know the will of God for your lives. And that includes God's calling. It includes his, his assignment for you, the kind of ministry God has for you, the place God wants you to be and all that. And in getting to the destination, the journey is as important as the destination. So sometimes the Holy Spirit will speak a word to, to, to us specifically addressing any particular circumstances we are in. Other times, he will just cast the light on the actual destination. But he does it as he wills. So I want to give a brief knowledge base on the calling. Your purpose is the original intention of God for creating you. Your purpose is the original intention God had in mind when he created you. It is the reason God created you. So if God had an original intention creating you, then it is also important that you and I become quite acquainted with the purpose of God. And then your call or your calling is God Almighty's invitation to you to do His will and purpose. So it's basically when you pray and you say, Oh God, let your will be done in my life. What you are asking for is you are asking, you are inviting God to enter into your life. And so this is how God also calls us. God invites us to carry out his purpose. Your career okay, is natural. Career looks at natural knowledge of men. It is where you go to university to acquire knowledge so that you can use it to do a job. That is what career is all about. It's about you going to acquire knowledge, then you, you use this knowledge to, to develop a, a job or a business or you get employed and then you continue to grow year to year and so on and so forth. You choose your career. So growing up, there were times you had career day and, and that sort of thing. You choose your career, but God chooses the call for you. Or in other words, the call chooses you. You don't choose the call. So it's important to note that the call chooses you. You don't choose the call. The reason is that the purpose of the call originated from God. It didn't originate in the realm of men. It originated in the realm of God. Okay, And so that is the reason why the anointing, which is basically the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, is needed to, to, to carry out the call of God. You don't need an anointing to carry out a career. You don't need an anointing for a career. You, you, you need to... You need to study well. Right? You need to study hard. You need to be committed. You need to be focused. And then you will be able to finish your, your career. So you don't need supernatural power for career. But in the case of a calling, you need the supernatural. Because it originates from God. And everything God is supernatural. Amen? Amen. Everything God is supernatural. So, so this is especially good for you if you are already in Korea presently and the call of God is becoming aware to you. You must understand that the way you went about the career is not the way you can go about the call of God. Because in the career, it was all about your effort. It was all about what you put in was what you got. But when it comes to the call of God, it's about what God put in. And he just simply invites you. So that invitation is what we call the calling. Like a phone call. 
originating from God to you. You have to pick it. You have to answer it. Now, how do you discover the call of God? Or how do you discover your purpose? Right? The purpose of God is revealed. Very important to understand that. It is revealed. In other words, until God reveals it to you, you cannot know his purpose. You can feel, you can have passion, which is all the way God guides you in the direction of his eternal purpose. But for you to, for you to know it's crystal clear that this is my purpose without beating around the bush. God the Father, through his Holy Spirit, because of the grace of of his son must reveal it to you now god is interested in us developing career and all that stuff because it gives us the knowledge of men it builds our human capacity our understanding of this world and how things work and all that that is okay so there's a season of our life where we go to school we learn but there comes a season where god seems to begin to interrupt that process so there are certain plans you were making and then it just seems as though you are not able to carry out things the way you want to carry them out. Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. You yeah. just can't, you can't carry out things the way you want to. That is a sign that God is beginning to reveal himself to you as far as what your purpose is concerned. Because if there isn't any resistance, you will never pause to think agreed you will never post a thing it will just be like you just go and then you just go and then you just go and one of the other ways that god begins to draw your attention is when you when you start feeling that kind of um dissatisfaction with the, the thing you do as a job you start to feel some kind of dissatisfaction right uh, and then you start to feel this discontentment like it's not enough there's something that you need but you can't seem to get from the job that you do these are also ways that inside of you god begins to draw your attention to the fact that he wants you to seek him concerning his calling on your life okay so as you are receiving this knowledge right now i just declare and i prophesy over you in the name of jesus that that zeal and passion that Jesus spoke about. Jesus said, the zeal of my father's house or the zeal for my father's house has consumed me. May the zeal of God concerning your purpose consume you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So remember, in the case of the call, you need the supernatural. It is not natural. So you've gone to university, you've been trained and all that. That's fantastic. But what God, this session right now, Everything that you're going to receive is all about God empowering you. You cannot do the work of God. You can't work for God without being empowered. You need the Spirit of God. So God said that through Jesus Christ to his apostles, Acts chapter 1, they should wait in Jerusalem until they receive the promise of the Father. So you need anointings to do all manner of things in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Now, why does God allow you to go to, to school, have all this education, and then suddenly begins to pull you back, restrain you by his grace, and, you know, begin to interrupt your life? Why? Is it because he fancies knocking us up and messing up our lives? Certainly not. God wants you to understand the way the world thinks and reasons. Okay? Jesus said to his disciples, he says, you are in the world, but you are not of the world. So Jesus wants us to know how the world thinks. He wants us to know what, what makes the world run, what makes it spin around, right? So that when he sends you like Moses, you can go and influence. You remember Moses, 40 years, was in Egypt, trained as a prince, trained to be a, a, a ruler, trained to do all manner of things, right? Uh, Egyptian languages, he could speak them. He, he was trained. This guy is educated. He, he came from uh, 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 oh, wonderful. Zoom has given us extra 40 minutes. Wonderful. Um, 
he came from a highly educated place okay now i am saying this to you so you understand that god didn't start interrupting the lives of people like yourself who who seem to feel like you are so educated today hallelujah he started a long time ago god doesn't settle for mediocrity god picks the best so you are fortunate if you are in this session because it means you are the best hallelujah it means you are the best god looks for the best why should god look for people who are uneducated for a long time the call of god has been seen in the in the limited perspective of uh, the evangelists the prophet the apostles and these guys have not necessarily represented the offices the way god wants it to be represented at least not in the way you see it in the bible so it's gotten a lot of people to become lukewarm towards the things of god but i want to assure you that god picks the best the question is do you see yourself as the best so god wants you to know how the world works okay so that when he sends you 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 have knowledge knowledge is important how can you influence someone when you don't know how they think that's a question how can you influence someone when you don't know how they think so god equips you to have influence over those he sends you to so that's why he makes you go to all the education you learn all those night hours eh? Eh? if you went to university of ghana like me those those mass department hours justin is on this broadcast you learn ah, and then you go and sit at the exam and then the 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 the, the lecturer does apostle web all these things that you go through why because god is building your capacity part of it you learn empathy you, you develop empathy because when you've been through something and you meet somebody who is also going through it you can connect with that person and then when you speak to that person it can just it, it won't just be mental or cerebral it will also be affectionate hallelujah Amen. so god equips you to have influence over those he sends you to that is your sphere of influence <laughs> that's your sphere of influence so if you look at where you have gotten to right now before the call of god is being revealed to you it is assigned to you in a manner of the level or the category or the caliber of people that you will be able to influence as a called one of the lord your education will never make sense to you unless you have an encounter with god hallelujah you see, that's why a lot of people study and then they go insane. Because Ecclesiastes chapter 12, Solomon warned and said, be careful about, uh, you know, getting yourself to, to, uh, what, what, what is the, the word? Uh, let me just read it verbatim. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. He said, beware, he said in verse 12, and further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. See, the whole point of studying is because man fell. Think about it. In, in the beginning, God never created man to have to go through the ordeal. It is an ordeal to have to study. The, the capacity given to Adam was to see things as they are and to know them as they are. And so learning was by perception. You could look at something and know that that is what it was now you have to study it's a toil and so you must know that without you having an encounter with god steady 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 it will wear you out it will wear you out and so god wants you to know at this point in your life that whatever education you have had whatever kind of experiences you have had whatever training you have had whatever skills you have developed they are relevant to him but you must understand that without an encounter with God, all of that is vanity. And so 
right now we want to begin to do some praying right now while we minister i just declare in the name of jesus that if you have been feeling worn out receive grace receive grace receive grace receive grace receive grace receive a refreshing by this word of the lord that has been preached to you receive a refreshing if you have been toiling and god has actually been involved in the toil but because you have not been spending time with the lord you have become worn out jesus says come on to me all you who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest receive rest receive rest Amen. by this word of the Amen. lord receive rest where is the rest the Amen. rest is that you hear the voice of the lord Amen. the rest is that you hear the voice of god the rest is that you hear the voice of the holy spirit may the holy spirit speak to you in this moment may he open your ear to Amen. hear him may your heart be enlightened in the name Amen. of jesus in the name Amen. of jesus in the name of jesus Amen. I see a few people are joining. Man de briga ze predia. In the name of Jesus. 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 Refreshing. Refreshing. A refreshing for you. In all your study. A refreshing. In all your learning. In all your toiling. A rest. A rest. A rest. The Lord lift up burdens off you now. The Lord give you easy yoke Amen. and a light burden. Easy yoke Amen. and a light burden. Amen. There's somebody on this broadcast Amen. who are having a problem. You need supernatural solution to it requires wisdom. Receive wisdom. Receive 